Hi, everybody. I uh, wanted to make a quick video that was not related to Cardano, uh, but is related to the death of a great man, uh, John Horton Conway. I just got a text message uh, literally a few minutes ago uh, that uh, Conway has passed from coronavirus. Uh, he was 82 years old and uh, was one of my favorite mathematicians and uh, one that I like so much that if you look at the front page of um, the IWK website, you have an option to switch it over to uh, Conway's Game of Life. Uh, Conway was a very unique type of mathematician in that he didn't particularly care about his career. Rather, he just enjoyed working on very strange problems, uh, things like the monster group. He created games uh, in the 90s. He created a game called The Angel Problem, and it's commonly referred to as angels versus demons. Uh, he uh, wrote papers on the nature of free will. He loved collaborating with people, and it was all around, in my view, the definition of what a mathematician is, uh, somebody who is both intellectually curious and enjoys asking questions of why does it work that way, and what if it worked differently, and can we build a reality where it does and ask what happens next? Uh, he was also an extremely good problem solver and willing to collaborate with nearly anyone from the young to the very old. Uh, and uh, Conway really was uh, an extraordinary mind all throughout up until his 80s. Uh, the last few years he's had, uh, he had a lot of health problems uh, and unfortunately it looks like uh, he was the exact demographic that has a very hard time with coronavirus. And uh, I wasn't aware that he contracted it. It looks like he contracted it about three days ago and um, it's what finally did him in. But um, he had had a lot of difficulty. I believe he had a stroke recently uh, and it made it difficult for him to travel and it made it difficult for him to continue collaborating with people. Um, I read uh, a lot of his work, including his book on cemeteries uh, which is a wonderful book. It introduces new notation and a new way of looking at the world. And uh, I was inspired by a lot of the things that he did. And I tried to actually get um, Conway to come to the IWHK Summit in April last year, but unfortunately his health had deteriorated to a point where it became very difficult for him to travel. Uh, from those of you who don't know him, uh, there's a great biography written by Sia Bon, uh, and she, uh, she, it's called Genius at play, I believe. Let me check that real quick so I get it right. Yeah, Sia Ben Roberts. Uh, and uh, I'd highly recommend that book. It's quite accessible and gives you a good sense of uh, the types of things that, uh, that Conway worked on and his personality. It's a great loss for the mathematical community. And uh, there are just certain people when they go, they're really difficult to replace uh, if they ever do. Uh, for example, I remember when um, I remember when Halmos died. Uh, that was a hard one. He did a lot of great work with the AMS and, uh, and a lot of great work on the publication side. Uh, and I remember when Paul Erdish died. Uh, that was another loss to the mathematical community. And so this one is certainly a hard one because uh, he was in many ways the the soul and the spirit of the community. So. Um, I wish his family well, and I know they must be grieving now. And he was 82, so he was getting to an age where these things happen. Uh, but uh, I hope this inspires many people moving forward uh, to enter mathematics uh, and to continue his legacy and work on the problems that he couldn't solve, especially work around the monster group. And so um, we wish you well, Conway, and I'm very sad to hear about your parting. Anyway, I just wanted to, to make a video on this one. There are very few people that uh, I, I touched me as much as Conway did and work I respect as much as Conway's and attitude uh, that I respect as much as Conway's. So I felt it fitting to make a video about it. I, and um, I guess the best way of honoring a man like this is to just keep doing the things that uh, he did and to keep working on the things that he worked on. And it does remind us that eventually diseases come that uh, take people from us who we truly appreciate and enjoy. So uh, thank you all for listening. And uh, to Conway's family, we wish you well. 
he was a great man and we'll remember him. The mathematical community will remember him and uh, we'll make sure that the work now enters the, that Paul Erdős used to say, the book. And we'll keep reading that book. Cheers.